What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power I'm Playing with CJ. The story's been making the rounds for about a week or so, but I wanted to wait for some more facts before I, I totally weighed in on it. Um, Thomas Vanek in the gambling ring in Rochester, New York, which really doesn't sound like a, a great place to do gambling. I really, all due respect to the great people in Rochester, it's not exactly Las Vegas, you know, if you're going to go there to gamble, but obviously played for the Rochester Americans and, um, and the same, so he's got a ton of. Um, relationships with upstate New York, so that's um, you know that's that. But the issue is he covered his gambling losses with an Islanders paycheck last year, and that's what linked him to this major ring that I guess is being looked into by the FBI, to put it bluntly. Um, you know, and um, I th I don't think Bannock did anything wrong. I think obviously there's a you know, show more IRS taxes, but I mean, I'm sure just pay those off and forget it happened. But I was saying it could have been extortion, which, you know, is never a good thing when you're a star athlete in the limelight. And, uh, you know, anytime there are um, less than stellar moral, less than, yeah, people with less than stellar morals involved, you never know. With gambling debts and, you know, there's been some pretty crazy things that have happened. Um, you know, I, I'm not going to go so far as say panic was point chain. I'm not even going to speculate that. I think it's that notion is ludicrous, even though he did play awful last year. Um, you know, with the uh, with the Habs and the uh, you know, the Sierra got off to kind of a slow goal scoring start, had a less than great Olympics, but I, I don't think I don't think that's, you know, even pl a plausible thing with Manic uh, shaving points. Um, I think it was a college or NFL football um, pool he was in, and, uh, you know, I, I just think the, the gambling kind of got out of control, maybe put a, put a few too many bets down on the, uh, the Buffalo Bills or, or Minnesota Vikings, or, you know, it's just two teams that are two places where he played most of his hockey, and both teams suck. Hey, I have my jokes, but you catch my drift. I, I think this is just, they all do it. I, I know... There were there was a bookie in Massachusetts taking bets from the Edmonton Oil from members of the Edmonton Oilers once upon a time. So it, it's gambling hockey, it's gambling in all facets of life. I mean, I, I, I'm not, I'd be remiss if I said it. I never uh, called a bookie once or twice, throw a few throw a few dollars on a Celtics game here or there. But you know, I, I just think as long as you're paying your debts on time, they're fine. And I think fell behind a little bit and uh, you know had to cover it. Islanders track went in. There's money laundering in Connecticut involved somehow. So I think it's going to get swept under the rug. I really do. I think it's just much ado about nothing. I think, you know, the people being investigated um, are the bad guys. Vanek just happened to be a sucker that was kind of involved with them. Whatever they were doing wrong, I don't think Vanek had too much to do with. So really much ado about nothing. A week ago, I thought it was going to be this great, huge, big story. And now it's like, oh, yeah. Really, not, not much. So, anyway, that's talking this episode of the Power Play with CJ on Thomas Vanek and gambling. See you for episodes for the season and beyond. Later, guys.